This is a video of me following through on a demand with my son to put his truck down nicely after he threw it. You can see in the video that I'm moving him away from his toys and following through with the demand to put the truck down nicely. I'm assessing the environment and figuring out what I need to do to get him to follow the instruction. I push his toys away so that he's more likely to follow the instruction and anytime he reaches for something, I block access to it and repeat the demand. I want to support him in being successful in following this instruction, so I'm also assessing what I can do to support him in following the demand. You can see that he reaches for me and wants me to hug him. I can't do that because that would be too reinforcing, but I do need to balance keeping him calm instead of having a tantrum, so I let him sit on my lap. Notice that I'm not hugging him or positively engaging with him. I'm just letting him sit on my lap to help him stay calm and follow the demand. Anytime he shows an interest in something, I will repeat the demand, but if he's not showing an interest in something, I will wait until he has an interest in something. I'm also assessing what could push us closer to achieving the goal of putting the truck down nicely, and I'm looking at his behavior to see if there are things that I can promote and reinforce that will get us closer to our goal. You ready to put it down nicely? He does move closer to the goal by picking up the truck. So I let him do that because he's putting it away and that's closer to our goal of putting the yellow truck down nicely. Now I can capitalize on this momentum and have him put the yellow truck down nicely in his toy bin and give him all sorts of hugs and kisses and finally hold him as a reinforcer.